Hello and welcome back to Soulstorm LP, of course, game operator and narrator's souls. Welcome back to Battletech Rogue Tech. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we have a couple things that are on the table here. Uh, I believe there was, serious, there is an assassinate mission, which I think would probably be right up our alley. This is going to be going against Clan Wolf, but can't turn down an option for more Clan Tech. I uh, believe there's also maybe even an option of going against Jade Falcon. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, potentially, uh, this could be assaulting heavily armored vehicles for a battle. Hmm. Kind of up there on the, on the to-do list. It is four skulls. We might want to start focusing more on that. And, of course, also on the table is a solo duel. I mean, we kind of generated a very effective machine for one-on-ones. be a shame if we don't use it. But for now, we're going to focus on the clan tech this should be more than enough we are going to begin again going against clan wolf but i'm interested to see who our assassination target is going to be i believe everyone is loaded up in the correct units yes sir this should be an interesting scrap to say the least in the meantime see everybody in the landing page All right, let's see what we got. Nice polar environment, which is perfect. We got two targets on the field, support lance and our main target. I'm willing to bet there's probably going to be at least one more support lance coming in. So probably 16 mechs on the field. Now where do we want to go? Yeah, we got ambushers way over here, supporting wolf forces here. We could engage the ambushers. Can we engage the ambushers? We can. <laughs> yes. We can certainly engage the ambushers and then start working our way up through the rest of the lands. Even more so, because I don't know if we can traverse this way. Hmm. I mean, it would be a shame if somehow we were to sneak up on some people. There we go. If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Oh, we got way more okay cool that's fine it's all fine here uh yep all fine here <laughs> 5 10 15 16 max on the field and it's taking a hot second here trying to think about what it's going to be doing Nothing overly big. No, there's a pouncer? Firefly, pouncer. There's going to be an adder variant. Kintaro. Incubus. That locust trying to flank us is going to be a problem. That should be solved fairly quick. Brace up. And it does look like they do have a run down the hill here. Waiting for orders. That's fine. Get everybody to move and brace. That way you're kind of spread out a little bit. Ren. Get you up in the trees here and brace up. What are the chances that you, Pouncer, are rocking all the rockets? All the rockets. All the time. Oh, okay. Actually, you're not. Firefly might be a problem. 
Kintaro, yeah, maybe. There's a Goblin SRM. And a Grigori. I'm willing to bet you probably have some sort of artillery on you. I await your command. If I were to be, to be a betting man. And put the Marauder in cover. Brace up as well. Uh, Nova. Let's do this. Let's cause these guys to scatter a little bit. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, Grandpa, do a wide flank. Scary. I think I've missed some DNIs already. There we go. I'm going to get that one on. And nowhere really to take cover. So just move and brace. Mr. Bubbles. I'll have you push up and brace as well. Order acknowledged. All right. You're 19, so you're probably going to be going here very, very shortly. No back strikes for you. Commander. Ah, uh, but you didn't sneak in the head hit, so that's how expected. <laughs> Uh how expect All right, Brid. Yeah. Who do we want to hurt? I mean, the Firefly's got a whole lot of weapons on it. And I forgot to change this up. There we go. It even cause your heating to go right through the roof. Eh, not really. Hmm. We are going to have to remove these locusts. Probably priority number one. Now, who was that? Who are you? The Kintaro? Eh, maybe. Standing by. Hey, Grom, what are you hurt? Ah, eh, just a broken foot. You're fine. Walk it off. Moving to position. Delete locust. Oh, one down. Oh, it's on now. Kintaro is not pushing, that's fine. Waiting for orders. Can I get into the side of somebody I can? The side of that pouncer. Roger. You can tear him apart. Well, that's a leg.
All the way down to turn four for you, sir. Arbiter. Did we get that other leg off you? Acknowledge. Done and done. Two off the board. That's a kill. Full miss, I'll take it. Talk to me. Ooh, and I can't get in the side of this lovely gentleman here. Done and done. Didn't quite get him though. Take that as a lesson. Grandpa! I was sleeping. What do you want? We'll not fully expose our backs. You're asking a lot of an old guy. But we should have more than enough firepower to remove this locust as well. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. Uh, Romeo. Let's shuffle and try and finish this firefly. Ah, there we go. Almost one full lance gone. Not too bad if I say so some myself. Mr. Bubbles. Who do you got eyes on? The Incubus, which is LRM 20. It is kind of somewhat of a threat. All right, let's move. 50-50. Uh, And that's a zero. Attack failed. Hey. That's all right. Let's slip the dog. Berngron. Who do we want next? Well, we're not going to get eyes on anybody here anytime soon. Those bandits. Uh, enter the goblin. Let's do the goblin. Could splash right around them. If I can select them. There we go. Share the damage. Ooh, okay, barrage coming. What of you is that? Okay, so if we take the ridge. And the Jaguar's not going to be able to do much here. At her prime, that's probably our target, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. And if he hit chances, but why not? Let's see if we can shut him down. Oh, you want some of this? Well, didn't get to shut him down, but we did cause a little stress. I'll take a little stress. Better. Much better. Done and done. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? 
Ooh, that's a lot of people for Gramps to start taking on by himself. Will we initiate? And then fill up the ridge here, we'll be fine. What do we want? Bandits? Goblin? Yeah, let's keep working on the goblin. We'll have to move some AMS around that Orion. Goblin's pulling back. Perfect. I'm receiving you. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of nice. Uh, we have a shot on a Phoenix Hawk, but I think we're probably going to take a shot at Kintaro here. And if we miss, maybe we'll hit the bandit behind him. Taro's leg is open. The other one is bugging out. Commando? Oh, that's a back shot. Can we do it? We could punch through and actually cause a fair bit of damage here. Did not get him, though. Pull on, miss. That's coming from the Phoenix Hawk. All right. Orders. Now I know. Eh, not the best hit chances. But hey, it's energy weapons. They're free. And I'll take one. <laughs> yes, bandit. Move in. Orion's taking some work. We'll probably rotate him out. Probably sooner rather than later. Share the damage. Commander. Did we finish off that Kintaro? Well, that's actually a pretty good hit chance. On enemy six. Did not get him, though. I am out of long range yes, Commander. Kintaro, we're going to switch back to Artemis. Again. No running, sir. The angle taking the shot. Scratch another target. He's out of here. That's a kill. I will be done. Hang the marauder up. Acknowledged. See if we can take that leg. That's a negative. I'm here. Let's get uh, that turned on. Wow, I hope that actually worked. That was a weird double click. And it did, so that's good. There's that leg. No? Yes? Critical hit, Commander. No. Throttle. 
And the Jibberwolf's so far out. He's not going to be able to do much this turn. But we will use our alarms to see if we can destabilize and knock this guy. Don't need much. Well, LRM explosion works too. That's one less hostile on the field. Ah, oh God, I was sleeping. Hey, Gramps, what do you got? We can stay out of the line of sight for the Phoenix Hawk. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. We could cause some significant damage to a Nova here. Ooh, someone's got Inferno ammo. Hello. Commander. No, stay out of the barrage zone. Nothing for the Jaguar either. Alright, push right across the back. Full sprint. Get a Romeo to push up here and try and support Gramps. Stay on the Nova. Good miss. Good miss with the, the Gauss. Yeah. Yeah. Good miss. So far, so good. There we go. Now we're drawing fire. Oh, yes. Phoenix Hawk, move into the kill zone, please. Oh, this is probably going to hurt a little bit. The Nova did nothing. Well, aren't I surprised? Ooh. I'm receiving you. Did you just blow up your supercharger? Oh, bud. That's unfortunate. Get some vigilance up. Uh, probably won't be able to do much, but we should be able to ruffle his feathers a bit. The shot. That works. And we'll slide on back on over here. There we go. Who's turn 26? Ah, the adder. I've got your back. Get the timber wolf up and engage the Grigori. He's open. I'm ready. Uh, Varangran does have a line of sight hit here. Roger that. Goblin and the bandit. We'll do some vigilance. And I think we're gonna do some multi targeting. There we go. That was weird. I think we'll do Two on the goblin. One on the bandit. That bandit's gonna require two. Splitting fire on multiple targets. And the goblin was gonna require two anyways. Almost thinking I should have done swarm on that one. Almost. Hey, Phoenix Hawk, you finally get the land to hit. Good on you. Slight damage. Hold in firm. I 
think the Nova gets to move next as well. And turn 19. Going for a melee on the crow. And it lands. This is going to hurt. Yeah, disco me up. Oh, or not. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, straight miss the Phoenix Hawk. And I tell you what, we'd better check my targeting system. Big Zed. All right, so we guess the next turn is going to be the goblin. I'm here. Move on down and engage. Got it, Commander. Wait. Mr. Bubbles. Same thing for you, sir. Stay on the goblin. Don't give him a chance. There we go. Looks like I'll need a new target. Commander? Ren. You do have a hit chance on the other vehicle. Roger. The vigilance up. Was not enough to clear him out. Sleeping. What do you want? Grandpa. The Nova Cat got for back armor. Forty and sixty. Enough to be slow mode of a problem, but not really. Let's get the vigilance up. Switch on over to high explosive. There we go. Nova's off the field. Like I do. Good to go. Romeo, can you please just finish this guy off? Good hit. But he's in it. Still in it. Show him what you got. Uh, looks like Adder and Grigori are going to move. Orders. But Varangron now has eyes on. This should be over very quickly. Multi, we get two on you, one on you. Splitting fire. Eh, two on you is a bit much. That's right. I'll take it. Yes, Commander. Ren. Affirmative. Decent enough hit chances. Ooh, good hit, Gregory. Good hit. What time you started landing some of those? Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? What do you got, Grandpa? Do you have any sort of backstrike? You do not. Yeah, we gotta push up anyways. That's the difference. Twelve percent. Come on, there we go. Wow, he fell down like I do. Ah, <laughs> oh, these ammo explosions. Gotta love them. Gregory, I see your core is open, sir. Ah, uh, 30% chance. You know, we're probably better doing Vigilance for this one instead of doing Offensive Push. On You've got my attention. And we'll start pushing up. Uh, 
I saw some red. Oh, there's an engine. Who's got a C3I? Ooh. I wonder. I wonder. Do I have to... I should be able to push up the hill here. Should be able to. What's up, Commander? Rand, I saw you had a little bit there. There we go. No problem. Eh. Five percent chance. Negative. Oh. Standing by. All right, Arby. No shooting. Start pushing. This is going to take a hot second to get up the hill, I think. 8%? Uh, we'll save. I'm receiving you. A Varengron. With Swarm. We actually can start softening him up. Engaging. Long range missiles. Uh, Grandpa flanked the long way if you could. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. And the Romeo. You should have good eyes on here. Well, decent enough. We'll just make him nervous for right now. We hurt him too much. He's going to start. Uh, he's going to pop a circle for him to get out of here. And we don't know where that's going to be yet. More than likely on his side of the mountain than mine. Waiting for orders. Everybody off the ridge. Waiting for orders. All right. Rin. And Adder's turn. What do you got? Sounds like you got hyper assaults. Good to know. Double time. Let's go. I'm receiving you. Arbiter, not quite. Talk to me. Copy that. Looks like the Timberwolf will be the second one to engage. And we're all out of. All out for swarms. Firing on target. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Almost there, Grandpa. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. Yes, Romeo. Do a little dance around him, shall we? Good hit. I'm here. Uh, where is he bugging out to? Oh god, does he have to run over the ridge to me? He does. <laughs> yes. Good. All right, now we're gonna start peppering them. Lining them up, knocking them down, just like Mellow Woods. Waiting for orders. Wearing your can literally stand right there. Confirmed. I almost got a leg off him. Yes, Commander. Moving at full throttle. Do I have any... I have standards, not extended range, but they'll work. Roger that. Target confirmed. Bad day to be an adder. Orders. 
Oh, and a back strike right off the Timberwolf. Sorry, bud. And that's that. Mission successful. Not too bad if I say so so myself. But then again, it was a lower skull mission, so. What do we get? What do we get? What's on the table? Anything fancy? Didn't get a whole lot of money. <laughs> I don't even think it's going to cover any repair bills. It was Baron Grand's out for 10 days because, of course, he is. All right. So, what's the fancy parts? Maybe Gauss. Plan lasers, ISRM 6. Near tempted for another LRM twenty C. That's a lot of medium lasers. MMLs. Uh, I think we only have a half bit of improved. There's more MML ammo. That might be a different story. Artemis. Cockpit SLDFs, Excel Exchanger, another targeting computer. Just because. Ooh. You know, gunnery supports might be a much better option. They work in every Mac. And they're just, just awesome. What else we got? Plan heat sinks. IFF jammer. Kind of nice. Ooh. Well, we have that, we have this, which would be kind of nice to slap onto something. <laughs> Maybe sensor tracker, uh, another slick suite. Which means that now that we have multiples of these, might be an option, or there's an option for multiple of these. Oh, now I have to choose, though. Oh, and a V. Oh, and a DNI. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> uh, slick sweets are nice. The Nova CWS works with C3s. Uh, C3 Nova CUs networks. So we don't have any of that. Um, additional evasion, though. Uh, maybe... Maybe, maybe. Okay. Focus. Slick sweet. And e I. I think the DNI takes over. Yeah, it takes over the top half. Um, but it's very nice. What else do we get? Uh, a couple parts. 
small lasers, large laser, medium, tag, barrage, small core. We'll get rid of that one. Guardian ECM. Don't need that. The mask. I think we already have one. We do. Um, don't need more than two if I don't even use the one. And our ammunition. All right. I don't know if those choices were good. I think they would be. And I'm hoping they would be. Ah. No need to dwell on it. Done is done. I think we got good parts for it. And even with the DNI not being plugged in, we still get the bonus points for the, uh, the accuracy bits, as far as I'm aware. It's only the uh, after it states what is available when active is that we got to worry about when it's active. So, maybe it goes into a mech right now. Who knows? Uh, 37 and 8 days for repairs. Sure. I forgot to guess. All right, so Ryan Summoner and Archer are still in. Let's swing by the mech bay here real quick. Welcome to the Grease Pit, Commander. Who would benefit from something like this? Stormcrow, maybe? Increased accuracy? Um, oh, sorry. Uh, under cockpits. So we have an EI, and we have a DNI. All active little bonuses apply only if pilot has a new airline plan. So when active, pilot takes injury to structure damage. Plus one initiative, plus one maximum evasion. But the accuracy bonuses are still there. I think it's the exact same with this one. It does give night vision. I think the DNI actually requires this to be active for night vision, doesn't it? That doesn't even give night vision. So if I were to slide an EI in here, we could switch out that FCS. Uh, maybe drop in. The missile bonus is for you. All that good. Well, what about you for the Ebon Jaguar? I'm thinking about you. And well, the only thing you can have, because you already have the AR-12 sheath beacon in this area, is going to be the vehicle DNI. Which means you would need some form of night vision. And I don't think we have that. Hmm. Oh, well. Was a thought. I'll think more on it. But for now, who would benefit more from additional gunnery? I think maybe uh, either the Summoner or the Orion would probably would. So we'll let these guys go ahead and get out of the repair bay. Overworked and unpaid. Hmm. Half a million for year end bonus. Hmm. Well, that's quite the demand. I don't know. Sure. Plus four tech, uh, tech boost for 30 days. Sure. 
Okay, I'll take it. That might have been worth it. Job's done. Okay. Back into the mech bay. Check out the summoner. They can keep that AC-20 barking. And it looks like you probably go ahead and use gunnery support A, but you already got gunnery support B. Confirm, confirm, there we go. I'm going to do the same thing for the Orion. Give you some additional gunnery. How would that be under? Gunnery support A, B. There we are. Done and done. Now, as far as cockpits go, Marauder, what do you got? Just the basic run-of-the-mill cockpit. So if we were to get a slick suite on you, oh, if I get one on the Archer and one on the Crow. Hmm, maybe that might be better. As long as it's not too fancy. Archer, what do you got for cockpits? Whoa. The comm suite. Which is nice. But I think the slick sweep bonuses would be better. And for the crew. Right, you have enhanced imaging for the cockpit. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, how about the Jaguar? Things that you do have the C3I unit on you yourself. Is it worth it? We don't really have anything in there right now. So why not? Sure. All right. One day out. Actually, no, I'm going to move the Jaguar up. Because I want to do something. And it's skipped. Of course it's skipped. <sighs> Alright. Let's do this uh, wonderful little duo here. Yes, this one. And make sure we get at least one choice pick. I know I said, you know, getting more random picks is probably going to be better, but uh, let's face it, we don't get to choose more than one. It's all random. And if we get somebody with a bunch of weapon systems, we'll never get anything really cool, as it were, aside from our original pick. All right, so just to make sure... Confirm that one. Let's clear this mess. And come here, Jaguar. Let's do it. See you on the landing page. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Yeah, it's our old friend Killbox. What are we against? Come on, let me see. What are you? Initiated. Okay. You're a Jade Phoenix. 
Two ballistics, two energy. Two unidentified. And what do I got for cover? I do have the hill in the center. Commander. I can somewhat get back here. And I get to move first. All right. What's up, Commander? I do get in the side. That's a little bit better. Let's see if we can shut him down. Moving fast. Don't want to get too close or else he'll flank. Get around my back and I don't want to... Uh, I don't know. Kind of a tough call and I forgot to set that up again. Here's hoping for a shutdown. It's an 85 ton of salt mech. Okay. No worries. Uh, that didn't move their heat gauge. But they also gave me their back, so... I'm going to take it. No problem. I'll make them dead. Uh, now this is where he turns around and kills me, yep. Ooh, you got Gauss. <laughs> and no wonder why you're probably running so cold then. Receiving you. I don't think I can actually overheat this gentleman. Roger that. Full speed. I'm gonna make it. Hey, there's a shutdown. And I get it more in a position to make sure he doesn't strike me in the back. Yes. No problem. Uh, we're good. Firing at enemy. Come on, man. Start panicking. Start panicking. <laughs> Please start panicking. I'll stay in his back. Vigilance up. Do have one shoulder open. One the Entrenched. Okay. You. I don't think this is the best defensive option, but I'm not going to tell you how to play your uh, play your game, sir. There we go. He's out of here. Mission successful. So what do we choose? What do we choose? We added some hyper lasers along with his Gauss guns. I'm hoping there are some much better internals, though. Darn right, riding the red line is dangerous, but oh so very much fun. You know what? Yeah, I'm not even going to accept, or not even going to dispute it. Take the parts. XL sets. Partial wing system. A whole lot of gauss. Holy cow. Mm. So this one we only have one of. It hits like a truck. Now the Gauss does the exact same without the heat. What are cores? We got a 340? We do not. Excel will be a nice grab for cash. I think we got like four of those in stock now again. 
Let me grab another Gauss rifle. Just thinking. Yeah, we'll grab the Gauss and see if we can roll on the uh, on the ammo. There we go. <laughs> and we actually got two parts of a Jade Phoenix. Cool. Not bad. Not bad if I say so myself. I do like the uh, the Jag. It's it's. It would almost be better if it was slightly heavier. Like the 325 core doesn't really give it that sprint, even with a supercharger. Maybe, and this is just a maybe, we get ourselves another Timby. I have the 75 tonner with a big engine in it. Maybe we'd swap it out. Who knows? We'll see. Just a thought for now. Just a thought. You know, we're going to speed through our injuries. Pause it right there. And we're going to do one thing I didn't do before in the last mission. We're going to swing by the hiring hall and see who's here. And there's anyone really good? Bookish, technician, kind of good. Uh, Splinter, nope. Harmony, yeah. Dead girl, dishonest and criminal. Mm. Oh, catastrophe. Not really. Squire might be the better one just for the additional mech tech point. Oh, Dead Girl 2 does have the minus recoil. Well, why not both? New we got the space and we got the funds. Uh, swing by the store. What do we got? Well, it thinks. There we go. Anything change? Anything new? Ooh, he banked for a million bucks. And we have no Inferno, but we do have some LRM clans and SRM clans, unlimited. New equipment available. Just in case. E bank is nice, but I'm not going to spend a million bucks on one right now. Oop, there we go. All right, in the meantime, if you uh, like what you saw here, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to support the channel at all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment on down below. Every little bit does help with the algorithm. Uh, in the meantime, stay warm, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.